Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek, sponsored by Dell and Intel. Today's topics include increased Apple Store login security, Intel and Microsoft's collaboration on the new Edge web browser, Google's plan for this year's Leap Second, and updates to Microsoft's Sway. Apple increased login security for its Apple Store iOS app by offering two-step verification for logins when users enable it on their iPads, iPhone, and iPod Touch devices. Apple posted the updated Apple Store iOS app version 3.3 online on May 21st as a free 22.3 megabyte download. The updated two-step verification requires users to enter a password and a secondary verification code to log into the Apple Store through the mobile app. Intel's computer processor expertise is being put to work in Microsoft's new Edge web browser, the successor to Internet Explorer, due this summer. The companies previously collaborated on the Chakra JavaScript engine for Internet Explorer in Windows 8.1. Now, Intel engineers are collaborating with Microsoft in the implementation of single instruction, multiple data technology in the Chakra engine for Edge. Edge, formerly Project Spartan, is the new default browser for Microsoft's upcoming Windows 10 operating system. Microsoft designed Edge as a more streamlined and modern take on Windows web browsing that includes a stripped down user interface and Cortana integration. June 30th, 2015 will be one second longer as the International Earth Rotation and System Service adds what's called a leap second to keep exquisitely accurate atomic clocks synced with the Earth's slowing rotation. The service has been adding leap seconds to atomic clocks since 1972. The last time was in 2012 and it caused computers at many organizations, including LinkedIn, Gawker, Mozilla and Reddit to experience brief hiccups as the internal clocks on their systems went out of sync with external clocks. To avoid such issues, Google plans to smear away the leap second during a 20-hour window, when internal clocks on all the company's servers will be slowed by roughly 14 parts per million. Microsoft is now enabling the Sway presentation development tools for organizations that have signed up for business and education Office 365 plans. First introduced in October, Sway is a mobile-friendly alternative to building presentations with tools like the company's own PowerPoint software. Users can drag and drop text, images, and web content to interactive presentations that automatically scale to fit smartphones, tablets, and PC displays. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.